the process of creating a hostile work environment by an employer in the hopes that it will cause an employee to quit is called quiet firing just as the name suggests did you know that quiet firing happens every now and then quietly why do you think it happens in the first place do we have any better solutions rather than quiet firing well let's find out in our episode today hello viewers here is giridhar and you are watching the video podcast giridhar's garadi today i'm going to depict the concept of quiet firing with a fictitious story once upon a time there was a software engineer called ramu who is smart talented brilliant helpful but very soft sensitive and innocent by nature ramu was always given loads of work which he used to do without any complaints his teammates also used to share their work with ramu secretly being a helpful and innocent person by nature ramu used to do everything that comes his way 3 years passed by people moved from here and there except ramu his management understood that in the worst case scenario we have a scapegoat ready who could never speak for himself as he is calm and innocent by nature days passed by and one fine day ramu got to know that he wasn't marked in one of the important email communications he was surprised for a while but then thought that his manager would have forgotten to add him after two days by the time ramu returned from lunch there was no one from his team in the work zone he tried calling his colleagues but in vain after an hour when they returned he was again surprised that there happened a team meeting without him that to at the stage of important decision making for the project he tried to talk to his manager but his manager kept ignoring him ramu was alarmed before he could digest what started happening he realized that there were no goals set for him that year and neither he received any feedback nor any appreciation for his work since last 3 months in fact there was no discussion happened about his career trajectory the very next day he was assigned a tough project to work on although he started working the change in the work environment affected him somewhere he felt it to be toxic it even impacted his personal life he couldn't sleep properly with all these thoughts in the meantime there came a major blow instead of getting promoted for his hard work he was demoted his salary got decreased ramu was shocked tears started flowing from his eyes he became quite upset lost his mental balance because on the personal front he was having a home loan sister marriage and other expenses to meet he couldn't share it with anyone because obviously people would judge him simply by thinking that he underperformed at his job which was not true in fact he couldn't even share it with his family because it was a wedding house and he would never want to be the spoiler for the happiness ramu kept everything within him for few days being a sensitive person sometimes he used to feel that it's the end of the life he wanted to shout cry die and what not he became a man of overloaded emotions he tried reaching out to the hr but received a simple response that only managers would assess his performance and being a hr she couldn't do anything about it since ramu had only 3 years of experience he wasn't aware of any other company policies like grievance management after becoming helpless with the closed doors from all sides ramu went into depression his roommate noticed a lot of change in ramu he couldn't find the cheerful smiling happy active ramu since a while 
Although Ramo tried to cover up everything even after being asked multiple times his roommate didn't give up he kept asking Ramo multiple times and genuinely came forward to help him finally Ramo opened up on everything to his roommate his roommate termed it as quiet firing he told Ramo that leaving such workplace is the only option left with him he encouraged ramu to look for other opportunities ultimately ramu resigned he got attached to his workplace personally and felt very hard to leave but still he made a move the new organization received ramu well and he started enjoying so many benefits with respect to the work culture and even pay unlike before After a year unexpectedly he happened to meet his previous manager outside Ramu became quite strong matured and emotionally intelligent in this span he asked his previous manager to give honest response for quiet firing him then he understood that as per the company top management directives in order to implement the cost cutting and earn better profits for the company they had to quiet fire some employees particularly the ones who could never speak out for themselves irrespective of their performance ramu gave a smile towards his previous manager and moved on he felt happy that quiet firing enabled him to evolve as a strong and emotionally intelligent person coming out of the story did you know that there has been a 24% increase in online search since last year for how to fire someone maybe you wouldn't believe if i say that there has been a 180% increase in online search since last year for when to fire someone basically if we try to understand why quiet firing then here are the reasons number 1 saving severance pay number 2 incapable manager hold coaching a team number 3 uncomfortable with firing number 4 employees attitude problems and number 5 employees under performance then what are the solutions for employees number 1 speak to your manager and their bow levels although they ignore number 2 no need to stay at toxic workplace number 3 upskill yourself and find better opportunities looking at the other end of the table what then what are the solutions for employers number 1 always discuss rather than demoralize number 2 proper heads up once or twice could set the things right number 3 find other areas of cost cutting rather than quiet firing so don't you think we need to eliminate this issue of quiet firing by arriving at some amicable solution because quiet firing can harness the self respect and self confidence of an employee which is not a positive sign for the growth of an individual and also the society what do you say let me know in the comments below well that's it for today viewers hope you enjoyed watching this episode don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i'll be back next week with another amazing concept see you